Bryson DeChambeau could be the best golfer in the world right now. He recently just shot a 58, and to make things fair in this 18 hole 1v1, I will be starting at five under par. Let's get right into it. You can drive the screen here. First hole of the day. How far is it? Oh, it's like 390. It's into the wind though, but I should be good. I mean, it's just a chip. A left of the bunker there will be perfect, right? A little tight, little tight little slot. Three quarter. So what are we doing today? Uh, 18 holes. I think. I mean, obviously you're an. Ex I mean, you're way better than me at golf. So I'm gonna put that out there really quick. Bryson <laughs> would destroy me 10 out of 10 times. But I think if I start at five under today, I feel like that's somewhat fair. If I start at five under and you play straight sure. up, the same tees, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I think it should be pretty good. Um, <laughs> I mean, this guy's coming off two out of three wins, so. I mean, you just shot a 58. I'm pretty scared, but I feel like if I play decent, I can compete. Well, here's the thing. Like, I don't know the golf course very well, so that you got an advantage there. Five under, guys. I mean, I shot, I probably should be starting like nine, because he's probably, I, I, I could almost guarantee if Bryson really snaps in today, he's going to shoot five, six under. So what's, what's your goal? 58. 58 today. <laughs> 57 on YouTube. <laughs> no, I don't know. Dude, it really depends. Like, if I'm feeling it and I'm hitting the ball good and it's, you know, luck's my way, I can easily go 63, 62. Pretty simple uh, on a golf course like this. But you just never know. You might hit it in the water once or hit a foul ball or something may happen. Just, you never know. Right. So, but yeah, I agree with that. Five, six and even for you. I, I like those. I like those odds. All right, here we go. Wow, I'm already five under. This feels great. I got a five shot lead heading into this 18 hole match. I'm not going for the screen. This is just. Get it in play. Yeah. Healy. Okay. We're in play. A little bit healy there, but. I got a kind of small red line today. All right, I got a TP5. This is this is serious. Ooh, a little downwind, uh-oh. Yeah. All I'm trying to do is, is go between the bunkers. You see the flags up there? Right between the bunkers, it's a nice little draw in there. Hopefully it catches perfectly on the toe and it comes back nice and straight. Oh my God. A little bit. Dude, what the heck? I pulled that. Now was that like 100% or was that just? Oh no, no, that's just like 185 maybe ball speed, just chilling, chipping it. Just trying to get started for the day. You know, I don't want to hit one OB on the first hole. You got a five shot lead. Dude, what the heck? All right, guys, well, it's gonna be a crazy day. I'm excited for this, it's gonna be wild. All right, first thing we have to talk about here while we're waiting on the screen is that driver that you put in the bag. I've never seen anything like it. Yeah. Let's talk about that. Uh, crank Formula Fire. Uh, it's a long drive head, and so it's won a bunch of world championships and it works for guys with a lot of speed and I'm not giving the secrets away because there's a reason why I'm winning and I'm not going to stop. <laughs> Dude, it's such a small head. It looks like it's a small head. I can't head. wait to see people like actually trying uh, it. Well, that's the thing. Like Everybody's like, oh, it's a, it's a driver. It's, you're cheating. You must be cheating. I'm like, okay, here you guys go. Try it. And so they go try it and they can't hit it anywhere near straight. It's impossible for them to hit straight. So I'm like, there's obviously a reason why it works for me and not for you. I'm right, not going right. to tell you, but there is a reason and there's something pretty cool that's coming down the road that I'm not going to be... Describing too much. Physics. Their physics. Physics always wins. We're both in. Hey, we got one thing in common right now, Bryson and I. We're both in bunkers. So, guys, we have a five shot lead. If I go out here today and I have a really good day and I say I shoot two under, that means I shoot seven under total. I think Bryson's going to shoot six or seven under today. That's how hot he is. He's probably one of the best players on the planet right now. Oh, gosh. This is so difficult, guys. First hole here, a 60 yard bunker shot. I'm just going to try and clip it off the sand. Oh, oh. Can't do anything about it, just a poor tee shot. 15, 16, 17, 19, 20. So I'm not in the bunker actually, I thought I was. It's some rando's ball. So this is difficult a lot. If you look at it, there's a lot of grass behind it. I normally, like the greens are normally faster, but they're soft enough right now. So I think I can just flop it up there. Um, but it's gonna come out really dead. So normally I'd like bump and run it, but I'm gonna flop this up there and see what I can uh, do with it. It may come out dead and short, which is gonna really suck but I'm gonna give it my best, Create a little, do a little bunker shot here. Cause you wanna, you wanna get some speed on this, 22 yards. Just break a little left to right. Go. Oh, 
Oh, the green is so soft. Didn't even know that. But on a like tour course, that thing would have ran out next, next to the pin. But again, I just didn't know how soft they were. That's my fault. I got to be better at that. I mean. Horrible shot there. I'm trying to impress Chase today. I gotta now get some spin on this flop shot, try and get up and down for par. There's a chance I could have this hole. Just gotta hit a good shot here. That stuff is thick, man. Okay, we got a par putt. Not an ideal start, but Bryce and I, I mean, he's gotta make a long putt for birdie on the first hole, so. 13 footer, this should go left to right. Straight putt's over there to the left. This is gonna be an inch outside the hole. It's up a 2% slope and the green's a little slower. So you calculate all that, put all that together, it equals a putt in the hole. I've had actually a couple questions from my friends. Like what, how do you calculate the exact break on every putt? Well, percent slope? Yeah, so what I was talking to them about is like, I see slope really well. This looks like about a two, just over 2% slope. The straight putt is right here. So you basically, you take the straight putt and I then you... I always work off the straight putt and I just see where I am relative to the 90. So see 90s, right? 90 degree angles. Right. So that's, and it actually curves down just a little bit just because it's, it's, it's higher up there. But I'm not really worried about this. So, so I'm like in the middle of that upward in the left section of the circle chart that you would have on aim point or whatever. Right. Uh, I use a different system called vector green reading. All I'm doing... So I, so I use I use a system called putt view or vector putting. And straight putts here. I'm a little off, so it's going to to the left of it, so it's going to break left to right. It's uphill, so it's a little slower, 2%. I'm 13 feet, up at 2%. I know the effective amount needs to be hit is 17 feet because it's 2%. There's, a, there's math behind that. Essentially what it is is for every 10 feet, it's two more feet. Right. So if it's, seven, if it's 13 feet, it's going to be like 15, but I know the greens are slower, so I'm actually doubling it, so it's four more feet. Gotcha. Because it's a different step than what it is on tour. But you're creating, you know exactly. But I know exactly what it is based on exactly. So I know so exactly inches. what the feel and everything is. And then yeah, it's going to be 13 feet up. The slope's two percent. It's going to be 13 inches up, which is going to make it play about an inch and a half out on the left. Oh my oh. Wrong. Breed. That looked good. It did. That's good. It did, but it just didn't break. Not the way I thought. So I misread the straight butt. It's more over that I way. I mean, there's also the like, grain and things. There's also a lot of factors. Too, See that advice right there? The like him sharing that on YouTube is just crazy. Cause like, you can't hear that anywhere else. The amateur, me, I look at him like, eh, you know, this is why we're different. Um, I see it like left edge, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit this left and edge. I still see it too, like there. Like, I'm still like, okay, it looks like it's left edge. It looks like it's one inch out or whatever. I still yeah. Do that, but I have the math to back it up. Right, I don't. I got nothing to back it up. Do it, do it, do it. Oh no. It just broke off. All right, I'll give you that. I don't want you to lift another one out. Okay, we're good. Well guys, after the first hole, I now only have a four shot lead. He gained a shot on me with a par there. 17 more holes to go. Let's see if we can hang on. That stinks to bogey that first hole there because that's an easy hole. That's not a hard hole, but I've actually had some really good rounds out here in the past, so I know this course, that's the one advantage I do have today. It's gonna be tough to make putts. These greens, they do break a ton. All right, guys, second hole of the day here, par four, dogleg right. It's an interesting hole. Bryson has the honor, so I'm gonna see what he does. He's probably gonna hit an iron or something. Right over that bunker, so I'm gonna be going over the right bunker today. Yeah, that'll be good. I mean, we're really like, we're playing the same golf course, but we're really not. Like, or, if that makes sense. Like, I'm not looking at your line, so it's kind of... Is it intimidating? It's a little bit, yeah. Right. Should be good. Oh yeah, right down the middle. Nice little divey hook right down the middle. Hey. <laughs> If it goes straight, it goes straight. That's all that matters. So that, that was hit pretty good. That's, that's kind of the line I wanted to take. I mean, I'm not looking at that bunker into the wind like this. It's just not my line, so. I was scared of going in that bunker. It was like 317. Right, right. So I'm like trying to hit a draw into the, you know, over the, the stuff. And that's the thing that most people don't realize is like when I hit a draw, I don't really care what's there. If it's, even if it's water or OB, I'll try and take it over the, the stuff because I'm comfortable with hitting my shot shape. Right. I mean, when you can carry it that far, it helps too, you know? When you got 320 in the bag, it's like, 
once again, we're not playing the same course, you know? Here we go, second shot here. Bryson got me by a little bit, which is understandable. Got like 155 to the pin. Got a nine iron. I gotta actually really focus today and keep myself in it mentally. Cause I'm trying to pick Bryson's brain, but I'm also trying to beat him, so. We got two things. That was it. That was it. I, I couldn't see it land, but now I see it. It's like right near the pin. We got that for birdie. 105. This is a difficult little shot for me. I mean, that's the, I had 155. Bryson has 107. So, so 56, 107. I'm gonna be trying to hit. So this would be normally a 10:30 shot with no wind that goes like 107, 105, 107. But it's it's a little dodgy of a lie. So I kind of gotta push down on it to create the right angle of attack to get down on it. So when you say 10.30, you mean like the clock system? Yeah, so, so like, like here's nine o'clock, which is parallel, the club's parallel. And I go 10 o'clock, which is hand, shoulder, height, and 10.30 is like right up in there. And then full is obviously where it goes a little way back. So that's how you gauge all your distances? Correct. And it's downwind here, so it's gonna be 107, downwind five, four yards, so 102 shot. 102, just under a 10.30, 56 degree. Side slope, little left to right side slope. I'm gonna turn the face, close the face just a fraction just to offset that. Is that gonna sit? Is that gonna sit? Oh my god. It's 105. I don't know what happened there, guys. That was weird. 10. Oh, oh maybe because hey, super nervous. You gotta, you gotta account for the adrenaline, yeah. you know, for today's video. It's it's pretty nerve-wracking for Bryson so. So I hit that one a little long. I caught a little bit of a flyer out of there. I it shouldn't have gone 15 yards long. But it did. Anyway, that's the way golf works. And uh, I, I have to make up for it now. I've got to figure out a way to get this thing close by the hole or somehow knock it in. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this video. This is not like a normal video. We're just playing a match. We're really trying to pick Bryson's brain because he's playing such good golf. I want to know what's going through his head. And that's, that's the main goal of today's videos for him to go through every single shot and explain what he's doing. 17 yards, so that's 51 feet. Going through this first part about like five feet. I got a bunch of stuff. The first cut, it's actually pretty thick. And it looks like it's yeah, about two percent downhill. The grain's going into us at the end of the putt. It's a little downhill there, but into us still, but it's still mainly downhill. So for me, it's two percent downhill. It's just gonna play like a 38 footer because um, it's like 80 percent, something like that. It's around that. And how you do that, how I do that, is like eight, uh, eight times five, right? It's 45. So. The problem though is that I actually I'm gonna hit it so it's like it's like 75% actually. So if you caught that, 80%, right? It's four it's 40. Excuse me. Holy crap, eight times so is 40. My god. You can just roast me in the comments, please. <laughs> it's 40. That makes total sense. Off of that, a little slower. So I'm actually gonna play like 42 feet, to be honest with you. So I still like the 42 footer. broke left hard at the end, but perfect speed there. Wow. And that's nothing more than me just seeing the slope and going, I think, feel like it's a 2% because I've seen it enough times. All right, I'm trying to hit this dimple, Bryson. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Good luck, buddy. I gotta hit that one oh, dimple. Actually, by the way. Good par. Through, I believe it was 27 holes, my 27th hole, I went to tap in a one footer. Boop, missed it. In the Lift tournament. Up. In the tournament. I was even par through 27 holes. In the last 27 holes, I shot 13 under and won the tournament. After missing, After missing a one footer. That's crazy. All right. Knock it in. Here we go. This would be huge. Bryson tapped in for his par there. This is for a birdie to get back to five under. You know, just lagging it up there, buddy. Got to give it a little bit more there. It's all right. Hey. Mm. I did that on the last hole of the tournament, so what can I say? I. I don't do anything different. I tried to respect a little bit, but guys, that's a par. Still have a four shot lead on Bryson, heading into a par five now. This is where we can make an eagle. Huge announcement, guys. I am so excited to tell you that we are releasing a teaching channel. Now, we've been working on this for a long time, and it's my true passion, teaching. It's coming out very shortly, but here's the thing. If you guys are one of the first 10,000 subscribers to the channel, you will have a chance to win my set of P770 irons. 
All you gotta do, go to the link in the description. It's gonna be at the top. Grant Horvat teaches. Click on that channel, go subscribe. You're one of the first 10,000. Once again, you will have a chance to win my own set of P770 irons. Bryce has still got the honors here. We got a 578 yard par five. This one, this is where it's gonna get pretty fun because I know he's gonna go after this. He's gonna probably have mid iron into the screen if he hits this good. There's not much rollout. Nice shot. Holy, he just hangs in the air. Oh, wow, that's, oh, I thought, okay. That was really good. I mean, it kicked back to I the I didn't fair. know that it needed to be more right. I thought that was good. All right. All right. As long as we can go after it in two shots, that's the key here. All right, guys, we had a decent drive. We're not too far behind Bryson here. We're gonna have a ways into the screen. I don't even know if I can get there in two, just because there's we're actually we're getting absolutely no rollout today, so it's all carry. But hopefully, y'all are enjoying this video. This is really cool. I always learn so much when I'm with Bryson, and I mean, it's just crazy, like how he thinks. I can't do half of the stuff he does, so. Some of it sticks, but some of it I just like can't do. Yeah, see, this is like a layup, because I just can't go for it, unfortunately. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to lay up, hit a low cut four iron here, get it back in play, just blocked out. In the rough. Just a little bit too far, kind of pulled, but that's all we can do. Not much of a shot. I'm gonna actually try and use the rough to my advantage. What I mean by that is that I can catch a jumper out of here. Tiger said it multiple times on TV, but nobody catches it. And it's 254 to the hole. My six iron goes 230, but I'm literally going to try and catch a jumper. And I know it's like 240 to cover the bunker. I'm literally gonna try and catch a jumper out of the rough. Uh, to get this ball to go and fly 240. So how do you try and catch a jumper? So you have to swing swing really hard and be just a little more steep on it And when you do that you'll catch the ball clean But it'll come out with no spin because it's catching the rough in front So I'm gonna try to do that with a six iron. I can't do it with a four iron. It's too low aloft um, But you'll see me swing pretty aggressively at this Oh, I kind of did it. Oh my Go. Right at it. Go. Oh, oh, just short. Just short. It didn't come out as clean as I'd like to, but that's what we're trying to do on tour when we're in the rough. We're trying to use the rough to our advantage. All right, guys, kind of a pretty big mistake here. I thought I was down the rough. I'm not that mad. I'm in this bunker here, this fairway bunker, but we have a full swing, so we can actually get a lot of spin. 106. I'm gonna go with a 52. Real aggressive. Sorry, did it range fine? Oh, wow. Pretty good there. Got a good birdie look. Got it. We got to make putt. All right, here we go. We got a birdie like Bryson can get up and down now for a birdie to take it to one under on the day. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Dude, that almost went in. That's good. I mean, I think he's got this one. I'm gonna give it to you. Well, we kind of need this. We're one over on the day. This is to get back to even, which would be five under for this video. Oh, we flipped it. That's not good. You gotta make him lips. putt those. You gotta make him putt those. <laughs> okay. I was trying to be nice. Well, I, I probably, no, he was being nice, but I gotta, I gotta putt this. this. You wanna see me miss this, Chase? That was flushed. I'm so happy you flushed that. <laughs> God, it would've felt so bad. <laughs> if I missed that, I was, I was going quiet the rest of the day. But, um, all right, Bryson kind of cuts the lead now. He's one under, I'm four under. I'm only three shots ahead. We're settling in though. All right, here we go. Three shots feels nice. It's a nice little cushion. Only 16 more. How many holes to go? 15. 15 more holes 15. to go. 400? 446. 446, okay. Perfect. 
uh, just a nice little tight draw. I'm gonna try to do the same thing. I'm gonna try and smoke this straight off the toe, just to give you guys, uh, to give me more comfort and feel, because I wanna make sure this draws. So you're gonna try and hit it off the toe? Yep. There we go. Perfect. All right, I'm gonna try and hit this one in the center, which I normally try and do. That was the fairway finder. Keep doing that all day, and I think we can hang on till the 18th hole. All right, so your last event, yeah. you just played with Brooks in the final round. How is. is that? I mean, it's, he's, he just keeps in his own lane. I mean, we're cordial, no problem. Right. Um, we were fine. Uh, I talked to Ian Poulter a lot more, but you know, it's nice to have Jeeva on the bag and somebody just to talk to. And, you know. Walter talk a lot? A little bit. He gets going. He gets chirpy. But he's, he's feisty too. Oh, he can be super feisty. But we talked about Albany and some other places. Right. 150 here to the pin. Bryson got me by a good bit. I mean, I hit that drive great though. So this is my good drive. There's Bryson. He's probably hit that 310. I probably carry. I probably hit this 280. Nine iron. Here we go. Well, a little short, a little bit on the short side. It's 120. You got about a little uphill, yard uphill. It's in a little swale, so I can use the back swale to my advantage. Uh, 10 o'clock, 50 degree, goes 115 for me. So I'm just gonna hit a 10 o'clock one, just over 10 o'clock. Fraction of wind into us, just, just a little bit. Let's see if I can get this closer than my second hole today. I feel like I got a jumper. I feel like most of these are gonna be jumpers today. Be good. Short. Uh oh. Wow. I'm telling you, there's nerves. There's nerves involved. All right. A little bit closer here. Bryson's gonna go first. Looks like it's going left to right. I always find the straight putt, like the relative straight putt. So I just move to the right or to the left, where I think it's just gonna be dead straight up the hill. And I go, oh, okay. It's moving left to right. How much? It's how much slope there is. I see it's about a foot out. Foot and a half out. 48 feet up at 3%, six feet every 10 feet, so that's gonna be 30 more feet. So I get it this 80 feet, just under 80, 75 feet, relative to Stemp 11 that I practice on every day of the week. Oh my, slope to the right. Wow. Questionable. Questionable at best. Where was where was that? We gotta make one. Oh, he nice. rolled that in. That would have been past the hole by quite a bit. Yeah. But it's not. And now, Bryson, let's let's test the nerves. Here we go. A big putt for your career. Nice putt. I mean, <laughs> it looks like you're never gonna miss. Oh, I missed. I missed a one footer the other week. I know, but I'm just week. saying the way like I lock it in. Yeah. Well, I used to use the arm lock and wasn't easy. Wasn't I, good for you. Yeah, I couldn't. The, for some reason, the speed I couldn't judge. And you're just—it's not for everybody, man. Yeah. That was a big putt, Chase. That was a Pretty huge big. putt. One of the bigger putts of my career, right there. So I was genuinely surprised. It actually, kind of backs. Yeah. I was just thinking about that. That's a huge slider. I know. Right? And See, that could change the path of my career. It really could. No, it doesn't. Oh, go. yeah. Oh, yeah. Holy. He's even built for the tracer. <laughs> was hey, that good? You did all those movements and your ball never landed. All right, we're going to try and hit this one off the toe, just like Bryson. That's right. This should be fine. Yeah, that's fairway. Right oh, shot. Big bounce. Nice shot. Here we go. It's fairway. Here we go. 138. I got a nine iron. Drive it in. Actually, I'm gonna go pitching wedge. Oh, big man, pitching wedge. Yeah, watch out, Chase. Oh, 
walks right at it. Is it? Yeah, it's long. Oh, it looks so close. From this view, it looks like it's... I mean, we need a tap-in right now. Let's see if I can uh, do a little better with my wedging. I don't know what the deal is right now. 81. So this is a perfect 10 o'clock, 60 degree. A little downwind. Play 77 yards, 76 yards. Nice shot. There you go. Getting a little warmed up finally, but. Yeah, well this range is, it's not, it's just a, it's a range where like people expect you to make it, but in reality it's like, it's still a tough putt. I see this left edge. Good luck. Oh gosh, I love hearing that. I love hearing that. Oh Another edge. My gosh. Solid. See that? You hear that contact? That was solid contact, actually. I was impressed. Okay, I gotta. See, one foot is <sighs> overlooked. We really are overlooked. Down grain, breaking right to left. Nice pot. All right, guys. Well, that's a par for me. Unfortunately, I mean, we feel I feel really good about my game right now. Just been a little cold. We are four under. Bryson is two under. So we have a two. Shot. Still, but it's still a lot of golf to play. But just gotta make a birdie. Par five's coming up. We got a 50 degree. 10 o'clock is 115 again. So, guys. You gotta realize that I'm just hitting the same shots in my head over and over every time. I just go back to what I've done in the range all the time and I just execute that shot. Doesn't matter what the lie is, doesn't matter anything. I just try and calibrate to the lie and hit the shot like I am on the range. 115, well 120. I'm gonna land this one yard, so it's a 119. So I'm gonna go just over one, uh, just over 10 o'clock shot, which is a 115 shot. Um, what a shot, what that. a shot. 120, I'm gonna go with a three quarter pitching wedge. What was that sound? You hit a rock? I think you hit a rock. It sounded weird? Yeah, it sounded Come like back. a rock, dude. Who's the face? Is there a white mark on the face? Mm. Huh. All right, let's get crazy and drain one here, Chase, shall we? Good. That's an easy little tap in there for par. Um, all right, it's a par. Keeps me a four under. Good. Ten footer. Play this about five inches out. Oh, it goes right. Oh my gosh. You felt that right off the face. Wow. It just went right. That wasn't very good. That went right. I, I totally misread that. I mean, back to the calculations now. Back to the drawing that, board. I don't know what that was. All right, guys. Well, I keep my two-shot lead there after two pars. I'm four under. Bryson is two under. On to a par five, which I love this hole. Super gettable. Uh, Bryson, you got the honors here. Par five. I want to see you get after this. Okay, how far is it over the bunker? I mean, yeah, you want to aim at that right bunker just left of it. If you can carry that by a mile. Okay. You just want to go left of that bunker out there. I'm going to be a little there. aggressive here. Let me see what I can do. Okay. Come on, going around. It's going to be good. Yeah, that's fine. Nice shot. That's actually in the fairway. I think it might be in the fairway. It'll be close. I just didn't draw it enough. Went after it. Still it's good. It's a weird tee box. It is. Yeah. Come on. Let's make a birdie here. Let's get back to five under, even on the day. Shoot a good round of golf. I want to be competitive. Oh no. Hopefully that stayed up. 
water, so. Is it? Yeah, it's a little hazard down there. Could have stayed up though. Very well There's could have. Oh, yeah. All right, let's go see if we can find this. That was just a poor, poor drive. Just a dead pull hook. Needed a good one there, but let's see. Let's see if we got lucky and it stayed up. Could be in this bunker here. Here we go. We are just on the left side here. We are left of the bunker, almost in this hazard. Super close to going in the hazard, but we got a three wood. I can't get there. They just didn't hit it good, so. See if we can get it up there somewhere. Take that all day. I'll take that all day. We're back in play. We're just, I mean, this is a this is a hole that I really could have got after in two shots just because of a bad tee shot. Lucky we stayed up, but yeah, we're gonna thank Birdie the hard way. Five iron. He's gonna play like 245. So I gotta hit this good wet side hill. Gotta kinda almost cut this. Oh, that's pretty good. Go! Oh, it's short. That was tough. It was gonna spin the whole way, but it's not bad. Here we go. Really good chance here to make a birdie. Thank you. Come on, please, Grant. You're hitting it so good. I just I want to try. I know I know I have that little five under cushion, but even then, I want to just shoot like one or two under today and make Bryson shoot a seven under. 14 yard shot here, up the hill, into the grain. So I get the toe into the ground and kind of hook the face a little bit. This is a Josh Gregory special in college. He taught me this. And I actually did professional golf uh, when I was colonial, I think three or four years ago. He taught me this little hook shot, so hopefully this pays off right here. But I'm gonna land it about three yards the on the green, shot? let it roll up to the hole. Huh? The hook? The toe hook. It's to keep it from digging and into the green type of situations. Wow. Wow. Like that. Dang, I almost wow. made that. Wow. So that gets you now to what on the day? Three under? Three under. That is the easiest three under I've seen, but this is to get me back to even on the day. I love the look of it. Let's just hit the line. These are the ones, Chase. These, these are the type of ones you can make. Oh, easy peasy. Oh. Lemon squeezy. Okay. Takes me back to even on the day. Bryson is three under and he's cruising. So I'm gonna have to start doing something, but at least I didn't lose a shot there. Five under to three under. Part three. Are you coming up? Okay. Right now scores are five under to three under. Bryson said it's 195 yards and he's hitting an eight iron. I've never heard that one, so here we go. Let's see it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, go in. Go in. Oh, oh good shot. Bit. So like I'm focused there on just starting it right, making sure it draws in, doesn't draw too much, but lands in a place where I can make birdie more often than not. Oh, what a kick. So you just know this golf course, you can play the slopes. Yeah, that was interesting, that was a good strike. I mean, just, just apps, open. oh my gosh, I mean, it was like seven degrees open, but oh, we were close. Right. Here we go. Bryson's in there pretty close. I mean, he's got work for birdie. We still got that two shot lead. Eighth hole here. Only one more to go after this. I'm actually, I'm, I'm happy with where we're at. I mean, we're even par on the day, so. I'm gonna go with the toe hook here. Bryson just taught me. I'm gonna turn this thing in. Yeah, just let it run. <laughs> thing, I'm messing. Bro. I don't got that one in me, but okay. Into the grain. It's going to check up quick. Try and really get this one to come in low. Oh, gosh. Oh, it worked out. Oh, that's not good. Wow. Did I catch that one? Nice. I got 14 feet here, guys. This is uh, pretty straight up the hill. Grain's going left to right. So the slope looks like it's going a little right to left. But since the grain looks like it's left to right, I feel like it's just gonna be more of a straight putt in general. Wow, that broke right. And it came back. Came back a little bit. These greens are, there goes the knees, I don't get it. 
I'm only 25 years old and my knees crack every time. It's funny, you're faced with these almost every hole. These are the ones you gotta make. Yeah, beautiful. Okay, two shot lead heading into the ninth hole. Right over the bunker? Right over the bunker, par four, ninth hole. You can get pretty close to this green. Okay. Right over that bunker. There's nothing really out there. Oh my gosh. That's right on line with the green. <laughs> that was it. That was another level. You went after that, that one. It's a little faster. I caught a bug. Sorry, buddy. Oof. Oh no. I, that, I would not want to be that bug. I really want it. Guys, be sure to go over to Bryson's channel. I want to make that very clear. Part two is going to be on Bryson's channel where we finish the back nine and see if I can hang on and somehow compete with him. But right now we're in a good position. Hopefully y'all are enjoying this video. This is super fun. I've learned a lot. We have like 155 into the breeze here. Going to go with an eight iron. Bryson creamed that. I mean, that's far. That was different. He really went after that. Big shot here. Heading into our 10th hole after this. Need some momentum. Okay. Tried to hit a draw there, just too much draw. We're pin high though. Gotta be better than that. 88 yards, it's a little wet down here, so it might not spin that much. But 88 yards, you're gonna try and play just under 10 o'clock, 56 degrees. 10 o'clock, 56 degrees is like 93, 94 yards. Blowing in the wind. I'm gonna play just fractionally under 10 o'clock. See if we can get this thing close. Back in the stance just a little bit, lower it. 88 yards. Yeah. Oh, gotta go. I think that's there. That was there. I said gotta go a yard. All right, Grant, I see this going in for you. That'd be cool, let's get to six under. Well, that's a crazy round of golf, Trace. I don't get to say that too often. We get This is to get to six under par. Oh, gosh. Oh, God. Uh-oh. All right, so I see this thing a little right to left. Again, this, these greens are a little bumpy and grainy, so I don't necessarily know what's gonna happen. Difficult for me to see, but I know it's going a little left, and it straightens out at the end. I'm gonna go right center. Eight feet, gonna play this thing 11 feet here. See if we can make the magic happen. Oh. See, go back right at the oh, end. Oh. That's wild. Not good. That could have been bad for a second there. It still could be a little bad, but if we make this, we tie the hole. Oh, oh my Joe. lip. Okay, that was a good strike a on good the strike. putter. Dude, it's just the grain, man. Like, look at this. It's, the grain is coming out this way. My putt broke left. Right. And lipped, I mean, yours should have broke harder. I don't know, man. This is just weird. All right. Well, that is a bogey for me. That drops me to one over on the day, four under. Bryson is three under. So we have a one shot lead heading into the back nine, which is gonna be on Bryson's channel. Go make sure you subscribe to that. The link is gonna be in the description. Hey. Thanks Great for coming stuff. on. Thanks, brother. Nine more to go. Nine more, baby. Nine more holes to we be Bryson. Not done. We're not, not done. Close. Peace.